Oh, hey guys, how are we doing today? Man, it's so good to see you. It's good to see everybody. Welcome to 2021, a whole new year. Yeah. So my friends, look, it's often said that you should never diminish humble beginnings. We all start from somewhere. And in this review, man, I'm so excited because I going to be reviewing an all new natural soap that I found that's made for men by a solopreneur that's located out in West Nevada, essentially through Instagram. And uh, I can't wait to take a deeper dive into her soap and share it with you guys. It is absolutely phenomenal. So let's get right into the video so we can begin the review. Okay, cool deal. So uh, as I was alluding to this humble soap that I was really talking about and I had the opportunity to take a close look and really got a chance to really sit down, smell it, show it to my friends and family, coworkers, and things like that, is this soap is none other than known as the Mountain Man Beard and Body Soap. Guys, this soap is so cool looking, right? Just right off the bat, you know, just awesome presentation. Um, in terms of just craftedness or handcraftedness, I should say, man, this one so far, of all the soaps I reviewed, I would have to admit, man, this one takes the cake when it just comes to just the craftiness that is going into this soap. I mean, that just looks phenomenal, huh? As you can tell, it's got this like this little sleeve. The soap is mostly exposed. Now, I will I will point to let me grab this real quick. Um, I will point out that the soap does come in this little nice cardboard box and um, it was really nice and pretty cool actually because when she you first get the soap when she mails it to you um, it actually comes in this like nicely neat like packet like soft delicate paper and like I remember getting it I didn't want to like rip it open it was like it was so nice you know um, but once you get it out this is this is what it's going to look like and it's just, like real thin paper uh, she's got her logo. I like the logo. I like the logo. It's a little unclear, but it's, I like the logo. Uh, it's like a cascade of mounts. I think that's really cool. Lala Bear and script. It's all, it's, re it's readable. That's important. Yeah. Uh, not a big fan of the font of Mound Man Beard and Body Bar. It's a little, it's just kind of, it's kind of a little hard to read. I like maybe like change maybe go with a different font maybe but it looks good i like it, it looks super cool i just i, I love I, I, man i'm just like geeking out over like how um just just so hand it just feels so like put together by hand you know it's like i literally love it i can't help my like ah oh, it's so cool that I, I love that man i love it i love it it's like one of my favorite parts about these reviews now I will say this though, I would like to see the paper a little more tightly. Watch this. Just comes right off. Maybe you gotta tighten up a little bit. That's probably it, other than that. Um, but you don't want it too tight, obviously. You know, you want it just be able to come off like a sleeve. I don't mind. That looks it's really cool. But all right, cool. Now that we looked at the packaging or the paper, I should say, let's move on to the next part. We're actually gonna take a close look at the bar soap itself, guys. So let's go. All right, sweet deal, guys. Now that we've taken a closer look at the packaging of the soap, let's go ahead and look at the soap itself and uh, take a closer look, if we will. All right, cool deal. Right off the bat, man, it's just such an eloquent looking bar. It's so cool looking. And right off the bat, it has this brown, and if you hit the light on it a certain way, it has like this orangey tint to it, very slightly. But most, it's definitely a brown bar soap, so. Got a really cool look to it. Um, earthy, if you will. Kind of got like earth, looks like the mud. Looks like you sculpt mud together. Ah. So, I like how it's got like a little, what is that? It looks like, um, it's like shredded uh, orange. Orange peelings, like dried up shredded orange peelings. I don't know what it is. But it's like some type of garnish. <laughs> I don't know what word to use, but garnish. <laughs> I mean, it does look delicious. It looks like you can take a bite of it, I guess. But, uh, Something on it looks cool. I don't know if you can see it, guys, but uh, just been just absolutely so cool looking, man. Um, I know that this is an exfoli exfoliation bar, meaning that it does have an exfoliator, and this is so fascinating to me. Super cool. Check this detail out. 
she actually uses or the company actually uses crushed walnut shell as an exfoliator that's pretty cool i've never had it i never seen that before usually it's like pumice or um some type of rock or sand or whatever you know um and they use that as like that's typically what you find as exfoliators here you know it's just crushed walnut shell <laughs> such a cool idea you know so cool like man the epitome of using nature to your advantage so cool love it um the ingredients are also so powerful here guys you have avocado oil which i know again that's the first time i reviewed a soap that uses avocado oil which is so surprising to me when you consider the fact that avocado is loaded <laughs> just loaded with nutrients and, and super healthy fats just i mean it's just phenomenal it's crazy to think that like not more soaps actually use avocado oil as a main ingredient you know and uh, she actually uses uh orange uh, blood orange essential oil cedar wood oh you got your coconut and your olive oil um I, I, uh, let me see uh, was, i can't remember all of them shea butter castor oil she even uses organic coconut milk just phenomenal frankincense that's that's, that's awesome i love frankincense I mean, so she has approximately about 10, 10 ingredients. So good, that's good to know. Not too many, not too little. She, you know, a little bit, when you start getting like north of 10, you start getting beyond, that's when I start getting nervous. So, so far she's checking, this soap is checking off all the boxes. So man, really cool looking bar soap. Has some awesome, neat things going on here. It looks just amazing. But yeah, guys, now that we looked at the bar soap, let's go ahead and move on and actually give the bar soap a sniff test and see how this bad boy actually smells. All right, guys, cool deal. So now that we took a close look at that soap, let's go ahead and give the soap a sniff test and see how the Mountain Man uh, actually smells like, shall we? So I got this soap right here. Now this is soap is so phenomenal. Now I love the smell, okay. I've had the pleasure, I've been messing with it for this past week, man, since I got the soap. And I've been looking so far to do this review with you guys because I just want to do my best to describe this, man. And, and I also brought it to other people to get their reactions and their impressions because it's so cool. When I first got the soap, what it made me think of is it took me to the woods next to a campfire like after a like it would have rained all day so it's like the slight overcast but it still has like that rainy smell so it's just this really awesome cool combination of you know campfire woods rain <laughs> it's it's awesome it really is it takes you on a journey it really does it brings you out to the woods and you're next to that campfire now i brought it to other people some people say it smells it had like pine tree christmas tree uh, woods, mountain, you know, that kind of smell. But everything was like all around like this woods and being outdoors and, you know, so it's so cool. Such an awesome smell, man. You know, excuse me, phenomenal job on the smell. You know, it's, it's awesome, man. And I haven't really smelled anything like it. You know, that's what I love the most about it. And it's so crazy because she uses blood orange essential oil. And it blew my mind because I was expecting more of a citrusy smell. And it's it's there, but it doesn't do what you think it does. Like, I don't know if it just like reacts with the cedar wood uh, or, and some of these other fragrances that she, she's using, but like it just doesn't, it, like it doesn't have that orangey smell, you know, which blew my mind. I was, that's what I was expecting when I saw it. It just doesn't smell like that, man. It's. Like it, I think that, I think the orange, like, I don't know. I think that's where it gets like that rainy, fresh, re revitalizing smell. I think that's where it comes from. I don't know, but it's, it's so cool of a combination. I just want to say congratulations on a hell of a job with that smell. It's awesome. Seriously. Awesome smelling. Uh, great way to start 2021. No doubt. But all right, guys, now that we actually, um, gave this soap a sniff test, you know the deal, guys. Let's go ahead and give it a lather test and actually see how this bad boy lathers and uh, we'll bring it right back. So, cool deal.
All right, my friends, it's about that time to start doing some closing thoughts, some conclusions, and uh, wrap this video up. First and foremost, I wanna say overall, very, very impressed with the soap. I really enjoyed my time with the soap, man. When you look at the packaging, well done. Could use some work on the fawn and, and uh, tighten up some things here and there, but overall, I thought it was really good considering the circumstances. The ingredients, I mean, just, just outstanding, honestly. Uh, when you look at the crushed walnuts, you take down the cow with, uh, with the introduction of the avocado oil. I thought that was fascinating. Uh, just second to none, man. Just so impressed with how the soap was made and the ingredients and the quality of the soap itself. I mean, just home run. The lather was impressive, was on point. Nothing to complain about, very solid lather. And again, to hard back on the scent of the soap itself. Man, it was like a journey, you know? It really made me think of being out in the woods and sitting next to that campfire. You know, it rained all day, but it finally slacked off, so that's that overcast. So you got like this rainy campfire, woodsy smell thing going on. Just very impressive. I mean, congratulations. Uh, I love the scent. And also, I just want to take this opportunity before I finish this video all up, just shout out to Miss Lauren, the, the owner of Lala Bear. Soap company, I'm making such a, uh, an impressive soap, man. Shout out the, you know, she's crushing it out there in Nevada and um, just soloing out out there. And uh, guys, if take an opportunity to show some support and love, I, I think she deserves it, man. And you also consider the fact that she's only been doing it less than a year. It's impressive, you know, it really is. It truly is impressive, you know. I get some of these companies that have been doing it for years, you know and you get her soap and it's not even a year and it's, I mean, it's on par, if not better than a lot of those soaps I review. So incredibly impressed because they're showing some love. Uh, all the links will be in the bottom. At the end of the day, guys, super strong recommendation. Gets my natural soap man seal of approval. Go check it out, give it a shot, show her some love. Um, but guys, at the end of the day, again, this wraps up the review. Guys, if you got anything out of it, you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Please hit the like, share with your friends and family, uh, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram, man. I'm over here posting stuff on Natural Soap, man. So, so make sure to follow me on there, guys. So, all right, my friends, this will conclude this review. Again, this was the Mountain Man Beard and Body Soap by Lala Bear Natural Soap Company. Guys, go show her some love. And, but as always, it's been a pleasure to serve you guys. And until next Tuesday, guys, with another review, I'll see you till then. Till then, take care and uh, stay safe.